Other news tonight, attorneys say it is the largest police brutality, brutality settlement in New Jersey history. Camden County Police is paying $10 million to Xavier Ingram after his attorneys say that officers broke his neck while arresting him in 2014. South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner has the latest. The man running across your screen in this 2014 surveillance video is Xavier Ingram. He's chased by Camden County police officers trying to arrest him. At the time, they claimed the then 20-year-old had drugs and a stolen gun. When he trips and falls in the middle of South 7th Street in Camden, what he says happens next changed his life. We go through this every day. It's just that it happened to me that it got, it was on camera. Yeah. Ingram's attorney, Beth Baldinger, says after her client fell, one officer pressed his knee on Ingram's neck. This was George Floyd's circumstances before, years before George Floyd. She says another officer came up to Ingram. Put his foot on Mr. Ingram's neck and stepped down. Mr. Ingram heard his neck crack and he passed out from pain. Baldinger says the Camden County officer's actions paralyzed Ingram from the neck down. The county agreed to settle after eight years of litigation led to a mistrial because of a hung jury. Camden County released a written statement saying that they do not agree with his decision to settle. They say this was a decision on behalf of their insurance carrier and was strictly a business decision that forced their hand. The county dropped all criminal charges against Ingram after Baldinger says they introduced evidence at trial suggesting the drugs were planted. Despite Camden County's insistence its officers did nothing wrong, Ingram feels vindicated by the settlement and plans to use the money to move back home. You got to take advantage of your time because anything can happen if it blink of the eye. In Roseland, Brandon Goldner, CBS3 Eyewitness News.